And this is the continuation of January part one. You only have one question left. Why is it a ridiculous idea? I considered my options. Cream puffs were not going to work again. The Alabama Military Institute was looking pretty good. Maybe dad would even like the idea. That hope lasted until supper time when my father announced that the, the town had decided to build a new junior high school and that Hood Hood and Associates had been invited to bid to become the architect. He looked at my sister after making the announcement. You see what being named Chamber of Commerce Businessman of 1967 can do for you? Gee, she said, I thought it was getting a nifty magnetic sign for the side of your car that was a big deal. She smiled. My father looked at me. That's just swell, I said. That's right, he said. And having a kid in the school is a big plus in making a bid like this. It makes the board members think that we have a deep commitment already. And if Hood Hood and Associates gets this contract, we'll really be going places. So I've been thinking of military school, I said. Dad took a sip of his coffee. I'm not sure Kowalski will even bother to put in a bid, he said. So I'm thinking of military school, I said, again, in Alabama. You don't have to say ridiculous things twice, Holly. Once is more than enough. Why is military school ridiculous? asked my sister. Today, the Mets decided to pay Buddy Harrelson $18,000 a year to play baseball. Can you imagine that? $18,000 a year just to play baseball. This for a player who can't hit the ball out of the infield. Hauling going to military school isn't quite as ridiculous as that, but I'll give him this. It's pretty close. It's not any more ridiculous than going to our high school, said my, said my sister. My father closed his eyes. He took another sip of coffee. I think he was fortifying himself. Girls can't wear their hair too short. Boys can't wear their hair too long, my sister said. We can't wear skirts that are too short or slacks that are too long or sweaters that are too tight or jeans that are, and I'm not making this up, too blue. We can't even wear a turtleneck because it's too something. No one knows what, but it's something. Now that's ridiculous. That a principal even cares about this stuff while bombs are dropping on people who hardly have any clothes is even more ridiculous. You don't wear those things because you're not a hippie, said my father. His eyes were still closed. What's all this got to do with education? Why can a principal just make up those rules? My father opened his eyes. Because he can, he said, and put down his cup of coffee. $18,000. They're out of their minds. Suddenly, the Alabama Military Institute faded right away. After supper, my sister came into my room. So you don't think you have to knock, I said? Look, Holling, going to military school is a ridiculous idea. That's not what you said so at supper. It's not ridiculous because of why Dad thinks it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous because it's military school, and the next stop after military school is Saigon. And that is number five. So, she put her hands on her hips. Sometimes I wonder if you're even worth trying to save, she says. There's a war going on in Vietnam, Holland. Have you noticed? A war. 200 soldiers die every week. They come back home in black body bags, stacked onto planes. And after they're buried in the ground, their families get a new American flag with fancy folds. And that's it. She stopped. And I couldn't stand it if she stopped again. It's a ridiculous idea, Holling, she said and left. Pete Seeger began to play loudly in her room. And that is the end of January part one.